guys welcome back to the channel today you join me on a video where I was not planning to make this video but one of my bulbs went on my car so I've ended up just going for an upgrade we have got some HIDs by Car Rover um, this kit cost me around £53 and I believe on eBay they are going for around £88 uh, quite expensive I guess but uh, HID kits do tend to run you a bit more money. Uh, I've seen these bulbs on someone else's car, so one of my mate's cars. Uh, I've seen it on Nick's car and they look really, really good and they put my LEDs to shame though. Now, as you guys know, I have got um, Eurowagon headlights, so they should fit because they are standard H7s with the brackets on the back. Um, so it should be pretty easy. I'm going to go out to the car. I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to go out to the car. I'm going to take the bumper off uh, and I'm going to like loosen the headlights because at the end of the day, you guys can refer to my Eurowagon video to see how to take all the headlights and everything off. Um, so if you do want to watch that video, then go ahead. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be fitting these guys. Um, you will have to drill a hole in the plastics uh, to actually put the uh, HID wires and everything out the back um, but yeah it should be fairly easy to set up and everything and uh, I think today I don't have a lot of time to do it so I am going to just loosely put everything together but uh, I'll show you how to get them wired up properly and uh, yeah hopefully there should be a bigger uh, boost to my headlights. I do find that the LED bulbs that I put in the car, they look great, they last a long time, they've definitely lasted for ages. I've run them all the way through the daytime a lot of the time, um, but they're not particularly very bright on the night time. So we've gone with these, hopefully these should be better. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. So join me in a moment, we're gonna go out to the car, we'll get all the stuff stripped off and I'll see you in a sec. So guys, we've got this now through the rear of the housing so you just want to make a hole big enough to fit the bung through uh, they've got the HID bulb and we've got the wires and there is actually a way to have these set up so I'm going to test to make sure we've got this the right way around um, there is a positive and there is a negative so uh, then once we can do that then we can relocate you can see the green thing in the background we can relocate the ballast somewhere and plug in the connectors um, so it is a simple case of fitting, it's a H7 bulb so it should just fit straight in the in the hanger uh, and then I'll do a quick test because I've still got the LED fitted to this one on that side there so we can see whether it is a different coolness or whether it's brighter so it should be, should be brighter anyway so All right, let's plug this in. Right so we've got the HID, Brian's just holding that for us. So what we want to do now is this is the standard connector for the Euro wagons and the ones are over here. So the correct way to wire it up is blue to brown. So blue to the brown connector, black to the yellow connector and that should work then and obviously you want to have these connected. Well I'll show you those in a moment. I'm just testing to make sure it works. So brown to blue and black to yellow so we've now got this plumbed in it is going dark so we've got the light on but uh, we've got three wires coming out now so the connectors are all in we've tightened all these up and now we have our ballast so this is our ballast the green ballast so we want to plug in it's pretty simple you just want to basically fit this plug to that plug and then the yellows go with the female connectors and the males so the males so literally plug those back together and then really it's just about putting your bumper back together and plugging in the brown cable so the brown cable will go back into your headlights and then you should be good and hopefully we should be able to do a test and then I can bash out the other one pretty quickish because it is going dark thank god the uh, clocks have gone forward so I've got it fitted now and it is an absolute massive difference. The beam pattern, it's quite hard to show you but the beam pattern is so much different. Obviously if I move the bumper, 
Obviously the LEDs are a little bit bluer. Let's move that out of the way. Well, I hope that picks it up in the camera. You can see the, the blur. This is the HID, this is the LED. The blur that it's causing on the camera. So much brighter. Just because it's got that ballast and everything, giving it more power. So, a bit of a cooler colour as well. Yeah, so much better. So, I've got to just sort this one out and then kaput, we should be sorted. As you could see, um, quite an improvement. It's now the next day. Uh, really, really happy with those. Now, one thing to note is on the video, it does look like they are overly bright. Now, they are very, very bright compared to the LEDs. They are like a world of difference. But I've been driving late at night recently, just taking the car for a drive, just to test them to see how they are. And they do have a proper cutoff. Um, when driving so they're not blinding people um, and when I was changing the the way that the, the beam pattern is set on the computer so obviously you can dip the beam more um, it all works correctly and it, it all actually seems pretty good so very very happy I think the boost in performance is just a world of difference if you got the Euro wagons I really wish that I'd have done it from day one but Hey ho, um, it was nice to have the LEDs for quite a long time as well and then be able to put those in and feel like I've had a decent upgrade. So, very, very happy. Um, I would definitely recommend those Car Rover ones. I will link the description in the description. I'll put the link for it so you'll be able to uh, check those out because they are really, really good. Um, and yeah, there is more coming on the channel, guys. I have been taking a little bit of a break the past couple of weeks, um, but... We will be back on it. We have got another video already edited, already ready to go up. So that will be going up very, very soon. Um, and yeah, there is more coming very, very soon, guys. So please stay tuned to the channel. Um, this summer is going to be pretty good. I've booked so many different things already for the above, for the, for the channel, for everything. So stay tuned. There will be announcements very, very soon on... Um, what I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned. We'll see you very soon, guys. Bye for now.